thinking critically, seeing more, dreaming unreservedly. The Kiev Polytechnic Institute is a merge of fundamental knowledge and engineering art, unique inventions and individuals who changed the world. In the past and present, the KPI is an innovation center. The best engineering schools are gathered here. Sikorsky Challenge, a unique startup environment where mega ideas are born and realized, functions here. Привіт! Мене звати Яна. Hello, I'm Jana. I learn mechanics at the Kyiv Polytechnic Institute. Our team creates a new robotic manipulator. The girl began to assemble a Delta robot capable to handle objects when she was a school student. It can perform classification movements. It distributes ring plates on their places. The manipulator is lighter and faster compared with its analogs. It may not only displace objects, but also turn them. The in its uniqueness lies. Jana won the silver prize at the inventors' competition in the European Union. However, she doesn't stop. She wants to make her robot clever yet. Formerly the robot could only distribute candies by flat boxes and now, for instance, it can decorate a 3D cake. In a neighboring laboratory, one can see a process of improvement of a machine with a parallel kinematics. It can work wood and metal. The machine is fast, compact and has low metal consumption. It performs not only movement operation, but also processing the teeth. It may treat some elements, help with processing of parts and perform paints, polish, clean-up operation on some object as well. The principal advantage of such robotic manipulator over its analogous lies in its low metal consumption. We can reduce the volume of metal needed to manufacture the robot by 5-10 times. This is Cayman, the demining robot. It's an ideal assistant in mine clearance operations. Defense officials may use it at large distances. Two pilots are involved. One of them manipulates the chases, the other operates the robot's arm. The robot is shunting, it may travel along a stairway. It is equipped with a remote control and computer vision systems, hence it may independently navigate the terrain. Multifunctionality is one of its advantages. The robot trunk may be adapted to various equipment. We endeavor to elaborate really useful projects. The Kyiv Polytechnic Institute, at all times of its existence, constantly developed useful and demandable projects. We keep our standards high. It is Spectator, the first Ukrainian manufactured unmanned aircraft air scout when performing its tasks. The drone aircraft was born in the Kyiv Polytechnic. The Meridian plan proceeded to its large-scale production. The pilotless aircraft are compact, almost invisible and very silent, and above all, they successfully oppose enemy's radio electronic combat system. Nowadays, there are hundreds of these winged assistants in the inventory of the Army and Frontier Guards. Specialists of the welding faculty know how to protect life of soldiers on a battlefield. They design protective anti-cumulative screen screens for APCs and IFEs. A missile doesn't explode while colliding with them. Here you can see the patterns of cumulative rocket grenades that fracture without fuse activation while colliding with screen elements. The specialists have taken on the work and enhancing the reliability of armored vehicles. They develop a technology that allows allows poor welded joints of armored steel to absorb an attack. It is a welding specimen that could stand fire through the use of special base applied under the welding seam. They are not afraid of experiments. They combined a 3D printer with the welding unit and learned to make missile bodies. A new technology a new ARC 3D print technology was developed. It permits the creation of shell-type structures of irregular shape. The technology can help the army with missiles and the other explosives items manufactured for military needs. Now the specialists of the Faculty of Physical Engineering are able to make absolutely new heavy-duty ceramic armor from this powder, which is twice as light as metal ceramic armor. A bulletproof vest made of its shell safely protects a soldier on a battlefield. 
a hot metal slug of autonomic small arms that flies at a speed of 860 meters per second shall not penetrate this bulletproof vest. Even the infantry fighting vehicles shall not resist the super bullets. The secret lies in the slugs. These bullets penetrate 20 millimeter armor. On impact with armor from the distance of 10 meters, they penetrate the frontal armor of IFVS and don't crash. All other national analogs crash. We made these bullets from the own material using our own technology. The KPI is a center of cosmic development among the universities. Politon 1 and Politon 2, the first nano-satellites, were designed and launched into space. They are really tiny, however, they do not pander to big ones. Now you can see copies of this spacecraft on the table. This is a small box that weighs only one kilo, may perform functions of big satellite. It can autonomously orient in the outer space, receive and transmit data. If you make a bigger satellite, it will perform more complicated functions. This model is intended to explore the upper atmosphere. Nowadays, the engineers actively design new satellites, Politan 3 and Politan 4. They will be launched into space equipped with the facilities for remote sensing of the Earth and biological studies. In particular, Politan 3 may become a military intelligence cosmic scout. A camera is already installed on it, and we can monitor events that take place on Earth from the outer space. Fifteen launch nanosatellites will permit the monitoring of combat zones in the real-time mode. The Storm Design Engineering Department develops a group of micro-satellite scouts. Each of them weighs 100 kilograms at the most. Each one is equipped with an optical scanner made of extra strong and light silicium carbide. At the moment there are no microsatellites of this class in Ukraine yet. In two years they will appear. The KPI has no doubts about it. I am Mikhailo. I am the Formula Team Captain, KPI student, and this is our team. At the KPI we design and build racing cars for five years. They take part in Formula Student International Engineering Support Motor Competition. Principal requirements to a car – safety, creativity, mobility and power. The project is first and foremost the engineering one rather than sportive. Its purpose is to transform students into real engineers. In the university's laboratories, they take measurements and fabricate parts themselves. One new car is built every year. Now we design our fifth race car. We want to make it bigger, more dependent and mobile. Students of the Kyiv Polytechnic have hundreds of inventions in their treasury of design. And the process doesn't stop. The secret lies in the university's decentralization system. Institutes, faculties, development centers, design engineering departments. In total, over 70 of them are autonomous subdivisions. The KPI is a paragon of Ukrainian education. Students at the KPI have the opportunity to refine themselves and think outside the box, not straightly, but with a goal to win. The former student of the Kyiv Polytechnic, Oleksandr Danchenko, learned not to fail just here. Oleksandr is the founder of the Data Group, national communication service provider, one of the best national top managers, held of the Verkhovna Rada Committee for Informatization and Communication. Nowadays, he supports his alma mater in the best way possible. He is one of the founders of the Sikorsky Challenge Innovation Ecosystem. Sikorsky Challenge helps people to be sure that thereafter their knowledge will convert into boom for mankind. The ecosystem unites 10 startup schools from different regions of Ukraine, where they learn innovation business, where Innovation Project Festival and Business Incubator are held. Technology environment. The number of startups increases. Over 100 and a half ideas are successfully implemented so far in Ukraine and throughout the world. More than 100 high technology companies from Ukraine, the USA, EU, Asia, Australia have already adhered to the ecosystem as well as 10 venture funds. Since 2015, the production facilities of seven capital enterprises are involved in the implementation of the university's solutions. Sikorsky Challenge representative offices function in 10 regions of Ukraine and abroad. 
neither of startup environment similar to Sikorsky Challenge exist in any university of Ukraine. Believe me, it's a fantastic idea. The KPI is one of the best higher educational institutions of the country. The results prove it. This year, the university team of ethical hackers became a winner of international competition on cybersecurity again. Our guys outcompeted over 10,000 teams from famous universities and IT companies worldwide. Work and learning at the same time, and both a university and an employer are concerned about the quality of education. This dual education system exists in the Europe over many years. Five years ago, it was implemented in the KPI. The cooperation started with the Progress Tech Ukraine, the biggest engineering company that cooperates with Boeing and Airbus. I work as a designer engineer and have the opportunity to combine study and work. I go to work in the evening, and in this way I gain both experience and salary. A joint training center is established on the basis of the Institute of Mechanical Engineering with the modern equipment and software, where engineers for aeronautical industry are trained. The great advantage for engineers is that they do not focus on the work and up to date software, but receive fundamental scientific knowledge and skills in the KPI. More than 650 engineers have been already trained under this model. Engineer speciality becomes the frontmost one in Ukraine. Dual degrees programs are available in the KPI. A student receives two degrees at once, he she may study abroad in a couple dozen of universities. The program permits a student to see himself in another aspect. It assures high level of language and technical proficiency, hence it attracts students. Doors of the Kyiv Polytechnic are open for foreign students. The Center of International Education functions here. It's a very good university. In my opinion, it's the best university in Ukraine and one of the best universities in the Europe. I came from Turkey two years ago, and I like Kiev, Ukraine. Students from more than 50 countries of the world study at the KPI. The classes are given in Ukrainian, Russian and in English. The Center of International Education deals with the admission of applicants and students for studies at the preparatory department for baccalaureate, master, PhD degree. We provide complete migration and visa services. The Kyiv Polytechnic expects to teach foreigners not only in Ukraine. It gets ready to become the first higher educational institution in Ukraine that will establish its branch abroad. It is very important for the image of the Kyiv Polytechnic Institute as the higher educational institute number one in Ukraine. Modern shooting range, computer classes, military machinery used in the army, radar stations, guided missile and air defense systems, Strila, Osa, Buk and Digla. This is the base of the university's reserve officer training department. Reserve officer training is a voluntary matter. Over 600 students receive military skills here. Reserve officer for air defense troops, anti-aircraft missile troops, radio radar troops, information protection and cryptology management are trained at the department. During recent two years, the Reserve Officer Training Department implemented new specialities – drone operation and repair, cyber safety and technical protection of information. The KPI is the most innovative higher educational institution in Ukraine. 25,000 of students, 4,000 of professors and scholars. It is a town in the city. It has dozens of educational and research institutes and faculties. Center of Culture and Arts, Modern Sports Center, Public Polytechnic Museum, Science and Research Libraries, which are the best in Ukraine, and the main thing, unique scientific schools and individuals. The KPI is open for innovations. The KPI desires to integrate university science, business, purpose-oriented training of specialists and high-tech industry in order to switch Ukraine's economy to a higher technological level to assure national defense capability.